Hi guys, this is Desiree Alexander, AKA Educator Alexander. And I'm here today to show you how to download and log in to the Google Classroom iOS app. And iOS simply means I'm using an iPhone. So to download my Google Classroom app, I'm actually going to come to the App Store on my phone. So you see the blue App Store I have right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to come here to the search bar and I'm going to type in Google Classroom. Now it's probably going to come up as one of the most popular Google products. So it already came up right here, but if it didn't, I would just keep typing in Google Classroom. And then I'm going to come down here to the search button. So I'm going to hit search. And usually right at the top, you get add. So definitely ignore that and just scroll up a little bit. So you see, I have Google Classroom. Now on your screen, you should see the word get like right here. And you should see get because I already have Google Classroom on my account, my Apple account. It shows a little cloud saying, hey, well, you need to download it to this phone because I did delete it so I can show you how to download it. So whether you get the get button or the, or the little cloud, I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then it should give me some type of, you have to do something to verify. So be, because I already have this on my account, it's not giving me that, but usually it's going to say, you know, let us see your face or put in your passcode or click your side button twice. So whatever it tells you to do, literally just do what's on the screen to get it downloaded. So for example, if I come here and click Quizlet and click Get, you'll see the prompt. So this is the prompt that you get. So I would double click that side button over here showing you, I would double click it, and then it will start downloading. Uh, uh, many times it'll ask again to see your face or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna double click so you can see the process. Double click and see how it's using my face ID and it says it's done. Now. If you don't have Face ID, then it may ask you to put in the code that you use to get into your phone. And then it's gonna do this little round button, you see how, and then you're done. So there you go. So it says open, so that means it's ready to go. I'm just gonna get out of this so you can know how to get to it just on a normal day. So you see I have my Google Classroom right here, so the app has been downloaded. So now I can just come here and click on the app. And it says, get started. Now, notice at the bottom, you have this little check that you may want to uncheck if you don't want emails about future updates. Now, I teach Google Classroom, so I definitely want those updates. So I'm going to say, yes, please. And then I'm going to hit get started. And now I have all of my Google accounts that already are on my phone. So if you don't see the Google account you want to use, let's say um, your work one is not there. So for example, let's say uh, one of my full-time jobs is not on here. So I can click add another account if I don't see it. Now, if you have no accounts, it's gonna tell you to just log in. But if the account I need is not here, I'm just going to click add another account and sign in. Now, if my account is already here, then just click the account you wanna use. So I'm going to click add another account and then notice I get kind of the regular Google sign-in screen. So I would type in my school email address or my school Google account, and then click next, and then sign in with the password, click next, and you'll be signed in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click one of these. I'm going to say this one is the one I wanna use. So do you want them to send you notifications, which means it's going to pop up on your screen. If you're a student or a parent and you want this to almost be like a text message service, I'm gonna say allow. Because if the teacher sends an assignment, then a box will pop up just like this box right here and say, you know, this assignment has been posted. So I honestly may want notifications. If that's a little bit too much for you, then you can say don't allow. Now I'm going to say don't allow because I'm not really using this on my phone. And then these are my Google Classrooms that I'm already enrolled in. If my teacher has given me a new class code, I can come here and hit the plus sign 
Now, I have join and create because I'm in here as a teacher. So if you're in here as a student, then you're only going to have join or it may not even show anything. It may just pop up to ask you for the code like this window right here. OK, and then that's where you type in your code. Remember that the class code is case sensitive, but I have never seen a capital letter in a class code yet. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen one day, but I've never seen one yet. So it's usually lowercase letters and numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the X because I, I don't need to join a class. But that's it. These are your classrooms. Now, if your teacher invites you to a class and they don't give you a class code, you'll see something that looks like this that has accept and decline. Don't hit decline because that invitation will go away. So you want to hit accept and then you'll be in that class. Once you're in the class, you can just click on the class itself. You have your stream, your classwork, and your people down here. And then you can go to your assignments on this classwork. You have all of your assignments that you can get into. And you can do your assignments and all that good stuff. Almost very, very, very similar to you using this on the computer or on your Chromebook. So that's how you download. That's how you log in. That's how you get started in your class. Have a great day. Be successful. And you're going to do fine.